What's going on, guys? It's me, JV, once again coming to you live this post-mortem uh, Thursday, April the 20th. Happy 420, everybody, for all you crack uh, uh, potheads out there that like to uh, smoke the sticky icky. It is your holiday today. But anyway, I say post-mortem post because the uh, topic of discussion is once again, the A's have officially said goodbye to Oakland and the Bay Area, and uh, they will be moving to Southern Nevada unless some sort of a miracle happens, as Reggie Jackson said on Sunday. Unless that happens, the A's are long gone, man. They are going to be playing in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I couldn't sleep last night. I was so depressed. Because uh, I still can't believe, I still can't process the fact that the A's are moving. Even though, as I mentioned in my previous video, I, you know, anybody that follows the A's has, and has been following the team knew that uh, this was going to happen, that it was inevitable, that the writing was on the wall and that the A's were going to be uh, eventually leaving Oakland and leaving the Bay Area. But um, it's difficult to process nonetheless. It hits you hard when... Uh, the reality sets in and uh, you know I think um, as I said I'm not gonna follow the team anymore I won't follow baseball anymore but uh, but from a business standpoint I think it makes perfect sense for the A's to move uh, first of all they're gonna have a uh, the market all, all to themselves albeit it will not be the fifth largest market in the country like you see here in, in the Bay Area but Nonetheless, they'll have their own, uh, the market all, all to themselves now. So uh, they will not have to uh, be in the shadow of any other team. And uh, I'm pretty sure they'll be embraced by the Las Vegas media, knowing that they're, 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 that they're going to be the only baseball team in town. So from a business standpoint, I think it makes perfect sense for the A's uh, to pack up, pack up and leave. And I know a lot of... Uh, People have been saying, including myself, we've been saying that when the A's uh, move into their new ballpark, that about 70% of the fans are going to be rooting for the uh, the opposite team or the team that they're going to be playing against, like you see with the Raiders, for example, in the NFL. But in the long run, big picture, the A's, as, as, the, as well as the Raiders, probably the next generation they'll have a completely brand new fan base and this issue will only be temporary so um the a's will will no doubt uh, build a fan base assuming that they put a winning market on a uh, winning product on the field um assuming that um uh, a lot of things go their way uh let's not forget that when the a's moved to oakland back in the late 60s the team got off to a phenomenal start the team won three world series in a row from 72 to 74 only four years after moving to oakland imagine that and uh, the foundation the groundwork had already been built as far as the talent when they were in kansas city they they had already all these guys you know joe rudy reggie jackson catfish hunter uh bert campanaris all these guys that became legends with the A's. They were already in the A's minor league system when the A's were still playing in Kansas City on their uh, dying or their final years there, their final seasons in Kansas City. So uh, they hit the ground running in a big way when they moved to Oakland. They won all those championships. Well, the same thing I think is going to have to happen down in Las Vegas for the A's to uh, attract fans as quickly as possible. They're going to have to. Um, they're going to have to spend some money and and start winning. And uh, one thing I I, uh, I absolutely guarantee you guys, absolutely 100% guarantee you that 10 years from now, that in 10 years from now, both John Fisher and Dave Cowell will no longer be with the ACE organization. I guarantee you, John Fisher, as soon as the A's get the new ballpark in 2027, he's going to sell the team. This dude does not give a rat's ass about uh, baseball. He doesn't care about uh, sports. He only cares about the green cash. He only cares about money. 
and he wants to maximize profit. As I've said in my previous videos, he just wants to milk as much uh, on the franchise as he can possibly milk so that uh, he can get the biggest return on his investment. Guarantee you guys, the A's will not have a, will have a new ownership within 10 years from now, maybe even sooner. Uh, as soon as the ballpark gets built, that's what's gonna happen. And so now the questions, you know, the questions become, what's gonna happen, for example, to um, their media market here? What's gonna happen to uh, NBC Sports uh, California? Are they gonna uh, fold and go out of business because now they're not gonna have any more teams? I think they're only gonna have the Sharks but who gives a rat's ass about the San Jose Sharks? I mean, let's face it, nobody cares about hockey. Um, the Kings are too far away. They're in Sacramento. They have their own market. And so I'm wondering whether or not uh, what's going to happen to their t uh, television uh, contract with uh, California or uh, NBC Sports California. Um, what's going to happen with... Uh, with their broadcasters, are they going to remain with the team? My guess is that they will. Uh, it's going to be interesting to listen to the game one last time tomorrow night just to get the... Uh, <clears throat> the um, just to get the, the the story from the perspective of, of Ken Korak and Vince Catroni and see what they have to say about this move. Now, what's going to happen with uh, their post-game uh, host, Chris Townsend? Is he going to follow the team or is he going to stay in the Bay Area? Um, how many fans are going to follow the team? They're currently located um, in the Bay Area and across the country, the few fans that are out there. Are they going to stick with the team or not? My guess is that some will. Some will, uh, like myself, will no longer follow the team. Others will probably uh, root for other baseball teams and uh you're gonna get a little bit of everything and uh it's unfortunate but i'm still uh processing the the uh the lost and uh even though it's not 100 percent official yet it, it just looks to me like uh it's all over because they just have a partner they have a developing uh partner that they didn't have down in Fremont that they didn't really have in San Jose because they were blocked from moving but on this occasion I think they have everybody um, on board and supporting the move so unlike Fremont and San Jose I think this uh, deal is going to get done but um, yeah the A's have to uh, start winning and I do hope they move as quickly as possible because this is, uh, what's the point of staying in a city that you're no longer going to be playing long term. So, it sucks. But um, anyway, that's all I got to say about the, the topic. And uh, I would always say go A's, but I, I can't say that anymore. I am uh, totally done with the team. Thank you very much for watching, though. I really appreciate the views. Have a great day.